YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and I'm going to get back to reading our book, Poison Power, which we all know about. Uh, we're on the forward, and I think I stopped on, I think it was, I didn't read it, but I'm pretty sure I stopped on page 6 or 7. And I'm just going to get right into it. I posted another video with a short rant about things today, but I'm going to get right into this because this is... Uh, we need to get the information into our brains. This is all buried truth that they want us to forget. We're still on the forward, and the forward is written by Senator Mike Ravel, who last night I said had a big hand in getting nuclear power uh, shoved down our throats, and I did some research. Actually, incorrect. He was a big anti-nuke proponent, but his efforts got squashed, as usual, inside of Congress, so it never went anywhere but he was always an anti-nuke activist. Uh, he seems to have acquiesced, though, and uh, just gave in to the ultimate crush of power. But let's continue with what he said in the foreword of this book, Poison Power. Also, I am not convinced at all by claims that nuclear power plants are safe and that radioactivity will never escape accidentally. If they are, are as safe as utilities claim, then why did those same utilities insist that they be given special limits on their liability for accidents? When utilities back their claims by supporting repeal of their special liability privileges, I would be more impressed. It turns out that the government, the Atomic Energy Commission, emphatically does not share the industry's proclaimed confidence that their commercial nuclear plant designs incorporate adequate provisions for safety. The Atomic Energy Commission, or the AEC, which is now the NRC, testified to Congress last year, that's 1970, many safety issues remain to be resolved before a substantial number of these plants, which have, been, which have received construction licenses, will be able to be licensed for operation. When we're finished with the forward, I'm going to show you the list of plants that were in design at this year. Okay, so it's <coughs> excuse me. It's hard for me to believe that the essential system which stands between the public and a radioactive calamity, a system called the emergency core cooling system, has never once actually been tested. If, to see if all its parts will work in reality as well as theory. So they never fucking even tried it, these bastards. That something like allowing commercial airlines to use planes, that's something like allowing commercial airlines to use planes which have never been test flown. Apparently, the AEC thinks those emergency system tests are important because the commission is spending many millions of dollars to prepare for tests for 1975, which I wonder if they did. Though we can generally tell when we have a very unsafe nuclear reactor, it's always hard to know how safe when you are with one you believe to be safe. Wow, that's in quotes. Huh. Though we can generally tell when we have a very unsafe nuclear reactor, it's always hard to know how safe you are with one you believe to be safe. That statement was part of a sworn testimony last year from N.J. Palladino, a member of the AEC's Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards and Dean of the College of Engineering at Pennsylvania State University. Wow. So these guys have been screwing the pooch for a long time at Penn State. Wow. Who could fail to be alarmed after carefully reading the following testimony presented last year before Congress? Quote, There continues to be increasing recognition throughout the nuclear power industry of the urgent needs for development and adoption of engineering standards and other discipline quality assurance practices. In spite of progress, the action and accomplishments fall far short of what is needed, unquote, reported the AEC's Division of Reactor Development and Technology. Excuse me, I need to wipe my face. What does that mean? Admiral Hyman Rickover, 
the AEC's Director for Naval Propulsion or Nuclear Submarines clearly stated that the meeting might be a disaster. There is need for utmost care in design, manufacture, installation, and operation of complex systems and equipment inherent in this technology. No carelessness can be tolerated anywhere in the entire chain or the result may prove disastrous. Unfortunately, there are many who are not aware of the necessity of this approach. The difficulties you refer to in connection with fabrication of civilian nuclear central power plants are, I believe, due largely to failure to specify and enforce the required high standards for systems and equipment." Unquote. That's from the testimony by Vice Admiral Hyman Rickover, Director, AEC Division, published in the Naval Propulsion Program, 1970 hearings before the Joint Committee on Atomic Energy, March 19 through 20, 1970. Wow, pages 96 through 101. We'll get to it, I guess. Sloppy work has been reported from reactor construction sites, as well as from earlier stages of reactor building. The AEC's inspection of staff is far too small to keep control, so the builders are allowed to police themselves. We saw how that has gone up in Hanford, haven't we? They are almost all running far behind schedule, so the temptation to cut corners is certainly there. Your safety... Hold on, I'm sorry, I missed a word. If you imagine that the AEC feels responsible for your safety, you will be surprised to learn that the Commission had specifically abdicated, quote, basic responsibility for safety, unquote, to industry. What? If you imagine the AEC or the NRC feels responsible for your safety, you will be surprised to learn that the Commission has specifically abdicated, quote, basic responsibility for safety, unquote, to industry. Wow said AEC Chairman Glenn Seaborg, quote, Problems in the design, fabrication, and building of nuclear plants can be minimized only by rigorous quality assurance programs initiated and enforced by top utility management, unquote. AEC Commissioner James Ramey also added, quote, it must never be forgotten that responsibility for safety of, plant, of the plant rests with the owner or operator. The regulatory groups, no matter how thoroughly they carry out their function, cannot provide complete assurance that public health and safety will be adequately protected in a power reactor project." Unquote. When a 525 member, when 525 members of the National Society of Professional Engineers were polled a year ago, that's 1970, almost 60% answered yes when asked whether there is a valid reason for the public to be worried about nuclear plants. We must stop this gigantic gamble with public safety. I endorse bills and petitions which would impose a moratorium stopping construction of nuclear power plants. Before any more are built and licensed, we are entitled we are all entitled to safety first policies and to straight answers to many questions, including those regarding the presently quote permissible dose unquote of radiation. And then he says, please see Appendix 5. Can't wait to read that. There are already moratorium efforts underway in California, Minnesota, Oregon, New York City. By the time you read this, there may be others. Also, please see Appendix 2. I know in Oregon we did stop it. It was planned here and it was stopped. My bill in the Senate would create an Energy Environment Commission to see that we get safe resources of electricity. One section of the bill would stop the stampede to nuclear power by repealing the special insurance privileges which are explained in this book. 
Other sections would require that we make them the that we make the dirty coal and oil plants clean, which is possible, and would see that we develop ways to get our energy without poisoning the planet. There seems to be a lot of possible ways to accomplish that, such as fusion, solar, wind, and geothermal energies, as well as magnetohydrodynamics, which is MHD. Magnetohydrodynamics. I guess that's a question for Shane Russell and fuel cells. The real question to decide during a nuclear moratorium is, do we take our chances with some of the gentle possibilities or do we rush into a commitment to the one technology which may end up contaminating this planet permanently? Well, we know which way they fucking went, don't we? And he writes further, what a sweet man. I'm optimistic. <laughs> Sounds like me, doesn't it? I'm optimistic. There is such a fabulous amount of energy renewing itself naturally on Earth that if man learned to tap just a tiny part of it, he would probably make all the electricity he needs without disturbing nature's harmony, i.e. digging up fucking uranium, which now is poisoning six million people in the United States. All of Nebraska is completely fucked. Back to the forward. I'm sorry, you guys. Unless we start putting an effort into solving energy needs, it's insincere to say that it is electricity versus the environment or any other false choices offered us. I hope that you will consider some of these ideas and proposals, which are included later. Please see Appendix 6. You will probably agree that some of the ideas in this book, I'm sorry, you will probably agree with some of the ideas in this book and disagree with others and have, a good, and have good ideas of your own. Please let us know by writing. Your opinion counts only if you express it. So I think I should read that again. Let us know in writing. Your opinion counts only if you express it. Don't expect overnight miracles. Very few of my colleagues in Congress are yet ready to take action on this subject. As you know personally, it takes time to move from feeling one, I'm not interested. Oh, look at this. This is how he has it. I'll show you that. I don't know if you can see it. The light's not very good in here. One, two, three, four, right? Five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Number one, not interested in big letters. Nuclear power plants are safe and clean. I think we're still stuck there. Number two, concern. Is there really a hazard? This is what we tell people when we tell them about fucking Fukushima. Really? Fukushima's really bad? Number three, determined. I will study and find out. Yeah, go talk to the NRC and go find out. Find out what they're going to tell you. Rats. Mm. Mm. Number four, convinced. Yes, there really is a hazard. And that's where lots of people are in this spooky fight right now. People are convinced it's a hazard. But then we have to get to number five, ready and able. It's time to convince others. Woohoo! This is where I'm at. Time to convince others. Poison power. That's why I'm on the YouTubes. So I think I'm going to stop there because it's kind of a long thing. We have, we're at 15 minutes, and I find these videos are super boring if I go more than 15 minutes. So I will end there, and we are on page 14, uh, at the bottom of page 14. And I will talk to you guys soon, and put your courage feet on. Uh, it sounds like we're really going to need them. You know, tomorrow's 9-11, which is, you know, kind of the birthday of the Illuminati taking over our country. <laughs> Those fucking rat bastards. I guess that's when they decided to drop the axe on us. But um, you know what? We're determined, and we're going to convince others, and we will save our planet. I guess I'm optimistic. So, ciao, you guys.